Welcome, everybody. My name is Bjorn Barrent, and this is the Ed Listen Show. Um, today, I want to show you the web app or website, Zeitboard.com. Uh, I've been looking for a for an alternative to um, smart notebook software, uh, one that works on Chromebooks and uh, basically an alternative. Now, Zeitboard is not as feature-esque, but I find that it is very quick, um, and I like it. I've reviewed several different ones. Uh, this is the one I keep coming back to just because I go to the website, it opens up, I don't have to log in. Um, there is a login if I want. Um, I think on here I am logged in, uh, which gives you a couple bonus features, but it is still dead simple. Go in, go to it, um, start writing. So the very first thing you notice is that there's a pen marker, and you can just write something. B J O R N, and you can change the color. And as you can see, um, works quite quickly. Uh, you do have the option to move things around with the move. If I am using a touch screen, which I happen to be, um, you can actually zoom, zoom in, you can rotate, eh, doing a two finger rotate right now. Uh, you can do it manually on the right hand side. Um, and the little center button on the right hand side uh, over here. Uh, it has the uh, plus over here, the minus, and then the, the one in the center here, which looks like a bullseye, is kind of like the home button. Uh, you can erase elements, which is nice about erasing the elements. It erases the oops, um, entire element in one shot. It doesn't erase a part of it. Uh, the other thing you can do is I'm going to move this around. Um, it is not slide based like some of the other ones. It is a full canvas. I kind of wish there were some slides to it, but it is what it is. Uh, it allows you to select elements. Oops. So I can select different elements and then undo. So if I just want Bjorn here. So if I just select Bjorn here, um, I then can move stuff around. So if I need to adjust a certain element, I have the ability to do so. Uh, quite nice. Uh, if I wanted to, if I just draw a dot, one little tiny dot, and then start typing. Oops, I think I drew a little bit more than dot, one dot, and then... And I start typing on the keyboard, it will actually enter in text. Um, again, a really nice feature. And then I can move that around and I think I can probably, can I rotate it? Uh, yeah, I can make it bigger and rotate it. And I'm doing this with my hands right now. Uh, get rid of this little nub right there. So it is a very versatile little tool. Uh, going also, it allows you for inserting images and cameras. Um, I don't have a uh, webcam or Ziggy or IPvo attached to this device. I probably should have. But that would be kind of cool. It allows me to get a webcam image of something on the table, and I could easily just kind of capture that camera. Instead, you're going to get me. Hi. So I'm in here. Um, I can kind of resize me again. Moving there, I can go in and kind of type. Uh, if I go with my mouse and I long click on the image, it brings it back up where I can, you know, reach, rechange the size and such, um, and bringing it in. So. In addition, um, it has the eraser. If I, let's see, so this is, whoops, undo, move. So, so far this is what I have right here on my board. Um, 
I can completely clean this board off. So I'm going to hit the uh, eraser and I'm going to hit it again and it has a clear all. Boop. All gone. Uh, other features. Uh, down in the bottom right here. So if we go over here, woo, uh, you'll notice that there is a place for inviting people. And it has a mirror view, or I can use a laser pointer, mirror view, laser pointer, um, or I can just straight up invite people. Uh, and basically, if I give them that uh, address, they'll have the rights to either follow along, depending whether I had said mirror view, or they can also contribute and edit to the board at the same exact time um, in live time. So it is a very collaborative board, um, a lot like Google Docs, probably why I really shine to using this board. Uh, going on, let me clear that out. Um, go back in and now talk about some of the other things it can do. Uh, it also has the ability, I think we saw the camera, uh, we saw the sharing. It also has the ability, sorry for jumping around a little bit here, to insert a PDF worksheet. Insert. And then I can kind of type my name, BJ, and oops, probably want that to be, answers to be in blue. You know how teachers are about red pens. That's usually afterwards. So I'm going to blue pen, you know, BJ, uh, two, four, three. So I'm able to contribute and write um, on top of documents and worksheets very quickly. And I can kind of keep moving up um, through all of these things. And when I am done, I have a choice. And then maybe I want a red pen in this thing. You know, hey, you missed a few answers right there. Uh, when I am done, I can click here. And you'll notice a few things settings in here. Uh, one of the settings I have is export. Before I get into export, I want a little bit talk about the uh, save my board and my boards. Uh, on the free version, you only have three boards. What that means is you only have three places, three boards that you can actually save um, and then come back and re-edit as if you're a working document. You have unlimited boards that you can export. So once you're done for the day, you can either save the board if you need to come back the next day or you can export it as um, a PNG which would just be the image that you see on the screen. Um, an SVG, which is going to be the whole entire board um, in all the data. Or a PDF. And this is kind of a cool little option. I'm going to hit PDF. I'm going to click Export. And the first export that happens, you'll notice that it probably doesn't look right. I'm going to open it up. and it's going to look off. That's fine. What it does is it actually turns on this little tiny square, and i got to really figure it out. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to select all my work, and I'm going to move my entire selection so it's inside that box. And if you, as you scroll down, you'll see that that box is just a representation of pieces of paper. So now that I have that set up, I can export, export as PDF. I'm going to click export. Yeah. Let me open up that export. And you'll notice it fits perfectly in the page. And I can zoom. Oop zoom out and I have the entire page. Um, very nice, very quick, uh, very powerful tool. I don't like, oops. Ah, undo, undo. If I just click on that red. Uh, 
Uh, undo. Well, there we go. Now we're back to here. Um, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to talk about the um, settings that we have in here. Because I think everything else we've kind of covered over around here. I'm going to click on settings. We have shape recognition, zoom to tapping. Uh, we have hot keys that you can enter. All these things up here, like let's say I don't want to have the image tool. Or by default, the image tool is not really showed up. So normally when I'm looking at this, there's no insert icon. And if I turn it on and off, it turns on and off those items. So I'm going to hit close. And that's it. I mean, it's a great tool. I encourage you to go check it out. And thank you very much. My name is Bjorn Berend. Please encourage you to go to my website, edlisten.com. Subscribe to the blog there. Also, I encourage you to go to um, my YouTube channel, which I'm going to be posting videos to regularly. Thank you very much. And never stop learning.